sneeze here, a cough there. I'm the perfect environment for viruses to gather and easily transmit to you. So protect all of us with Nippon Paint Virus Guard. Formulated with silver ion technology to destroy viruses on walls. Nippon Paint Virus Guard, keeping everyone safe. Hi everyone, uh, I think we are live now. Hello, hi, uh, thank you for joining us today. Uh, my name is Natalie and I'm a writer with itchprop.my. Uh, today, I will be your host for the second episode of our six episode mini series, At Home with Eunice, where, uh, where what we do here is we'll be exploring creative ideas and new decor trends from the comfort of your home with none other than Malaysia's Eunice Teo of Crazy Rich Asians fame. If I, if I may just introduce Eunice here, Hello, Eunice. Thank you so much for having. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. Hello. Hello. Happy Hi, New Year. Happy, Happy New, New Year, Year Eunice. Happy yes, New yes. Year to you. Happy New Year. Today is yes. the six days of Chinese New Year. I'm yes. happy to see all of you again. Yes, definitely. Time flies, huh, Eunice? So fast already. The sixth day already, huh? Yeah, it's been a week since our last series. Yes, yes, yes. And um, okay, Eunice, if I can just quickly introduce you, yeah. Okay, Eunice yes. is the principal of uh, Amtro Flower Designing and she has worked with flowers for 30 over years, okay? So don't play play with Eunice, <laughs> uh. she's really very king, uh. Sifu, okay? <laughs> and not only Still is she... Yes, she's so humble, this Eunice. Ayo. And not only that, she's also the American Institute of Floral Designers Evaluator and was the mastermind behind the beautiful flower creations in um, the worldwide blockbuster Crazy Rich Asians. And uh, last week, Eunice actually showed us how she cleverly transformed uh, Mandarin oranges, arrowhead roots and bamboo into creative CNY decor pieces. So if you've missed last week's video, uh, don't worry, you can always rewatch the video on our Facebook page. And actually, Eunice, um, I heard that one of our viewers, uh, Madam Yam, she actually recreated a bamboo decor piece that you actually showed yes. last week. Is that correct? Yeah, yes, and yes. that is... Mm, and that is so encouraging. So um, if any of you uh, actually recreated any pieces that uh, Eunice uh, made last week or you want to recreate any piece that she made, uh, she's going to make today, uh, do share it with, with, with us. Uh, tag us at HProp, okay? And um, okay, so uh, before we start, uh, I would like to give, uh, give a shout out to our sponsors, uh, Matrix Concepts and supporters, uh, Amtro Flower Designing and Nippon Paint Malaysia. Thank you so much for uh, partnering with us. Okay, and also uh, before we start also, I must quickly uh, remind our viewers, don't forget to stay on because Eunice will be giving away two special crafted pieces that she has made yes. on her own okay and yes. if you want to find out how you can win uh, i'll review it to you shortly if you have any questions that you want to ask eunice as she's demonstrating the pieces uh do comment them at, at our comment box and i'll try to address uh, the questions to eunice uh, as many questions as i can okay uh okay so eunice let us not waste any more time i'm sure our audience is very excited already see this very very um what's this thing ah uh? wow it looks very yes. exotic are you excited <laughs> um, yes very excited. i was very excited when wow. i realized that I can use long beans. Wow, long, long beans. beans. <laughs> yeah, and wow, I okay. weave them with the at the back of this glass vase. And mm. when I take it out, it's like a basket. Yes. So wow. with this, I can show you mm. vegetables, <gasps> decor. Wow, so all right, nice. for your home. Yeah, mm. look at that. So you can wow. actually creatively do something for mm. your guests and surprise them as like a mm. centerpiece. Mm. So how do I do this? I will show okay. you. Okay, mm. let me take the okay. long bean and mm. I'm going to demonstrate to you. 
You know, this uh. idea came from where? This idea came from Yong Tau Fu. We oh, know all Yong Tau Fu, yeah? right? Yes, yes, uh, see? yes. Yong Tau Fu, they make this like this. Mm. They make it into round and round and then they put the fish paste right in the middle right now. Yes, so correct. we don't put the fish paste. We just mm. go round and round and then ah. we just make many of these. Okay. Right? Can see mm. that? And then yes. what we do is we tie with little ribbons, very fine ribbons. Okay, I ah. will have my assistant to carry this closer mm. to the camera so that okay. you guys can, can get a closer look while I work on this one and show you. All right. Mm. Okay. So you can see. All right. So, so this. So every. The, oh, okay. Little bit. Mm. Ah. So every ring is joined together until it's completed. So you, ah, if you don't have okay. a glass vase, ah. you may actually um, flip your big soup bowl over and then ah. start from the top of the bowl, mm. like this part. So what you do is you start with this part and then you start tying, 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 tying. So ah, you tie okay. all, every one until you completed this. So mm. one of the tips on working on these long beans mm. uh, is that you try to buy those that is dark green. Dark green. Uh. Do, oh, okay. Uh, do not buy those that is like pale green because pale green, they don't last very long. Yeah. Oh, they are very okay, nice okay. Eat when you cook, but they don't last very long. Now, the okay. reason why I use long beans is because they are long lasting number one mm. and mm. number two because designing with vegetables uh, mm. i do not like to cut them if ah. you realize that if you cut fruits or you cut vegetables and you put it on the table after some time you have little insects that fly around and yes, that's correct. the thing that mm. i do not want to have so mm. i feel that it is safer to share with everyone this mm. technique where after mm. your dinner or your party the next day, you can make tau kok fun. <laughs> you know what's tau kok fun? Long bean rice. Okay, yes, you yes. can make mm. long bean rice or you can make a vegetable curry. You know, mm, so all mm. this is still fresh and is edible. You mm, know, we do not yeah. destroy them, but we can use them as a decoration as well mm. as in your cooking the next day. So yes, I feel correct. that sustainability here is really the key. You use them to the max. Yeah? Yes, yes. You are right, Eunice. So, so do you think you think you can try this on your own? Yeah. Yes, I think it looks very doable. Yeah, it looks very doable, yeah, Eunice. So you mm. just go round, 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 and then you tie mm. one. Uh, you start from the bottom and then you go down and then you join them together. That's how you go about it. So this will be a basket full of capsicum with long mm. beans. This is my first yeah. piece. I yeah. hope you can enjoy doing this at home. It's actually quite therapeutic though. You, mm. know? Mm. <laughs> you just keep on doing the same thing and then it makes your mind very relaxed. The second piece also still with long beans and this is mm. even simpler. Mm. What I do is I take 12 of the long beans and I turn them around like Okay. Just curl them like this. Okay. I bend them with ribbon. All mm. right. Hot mm. glue. Mm. Uh, beginning and the end. And then I cut them into a plate. All right. I curl them into a plate. Something like that. Okay. Ah, okay. So bringing it, showing you closer. Yeah. This is mm. a very um, textural piece. Now, you don't mm. see a lot of vegetables that is put together, but I mm. feel that sometimes if you take a close look at a certain material, whatever material that we are working with, now you mm. think in terms of volume. When you think in terms of volume, you get to work with the lines because the long beans is actually a line. So if you mm. have many lines that mm. comes together with the same direction and the same curve, you mm. get something that is very pretty and very clean. Mm. All right. Yep, so correct. by itself is very beautiful. But if let's say on the ninth day or the 15th day, Chak Gome, you are having a party, then you may also put some 
flowers or put some mandarin in between and that itself mm. is already another piece for the table mm. so i'm mm. doing a lot of uh, uh, table pieces because i feel that uh, during this season this mm. is uh, what we actually want for our home mm. so i'm going to just start two chrysanthemums mm. which which is very cheap and uh, easy to come by you can mm. get it from the market mm. all right so i put a little foam yeah red with plastic all right and oh plastic. i see even ah, the okay. plastic where you buy it from the grocer you can just mm. cut a little piece and then just put a tape around with a little mm. bit of floral foam if you don't mm. have floral foam remember what mm. i taught last week about the bamboo yes yes what was it? if if let's wait, hold on, uh, Eunice. If let's just say the uh, we have actually a question. Sorry, before we move on, uh, okay. we, uh, a sure. question is that if let's say we don't have um, long beans, right? Could we substitute it with uh, another type of uh, vegetable? Okay. Just happen could if we, you cannot find. Could we substitute yeah. with another type of vegetables? Yes, that is um, bendable. Okay. Mm. All right. Let me think about that. Um, if we are talking in terms of lime, then we can't. But if we are talking in terms of just texture, we can work with um, straight lines. Straight lines that is like salaries. Ah, okay. Salaries. Yeah, we can use the salary and we can chop them into the same size and put them flat onto a surface or plate. And then you ah, can put a few okay. blooms of flowers. That's it. Ah. Or even like some decorated mandarin. That's it. Ah. It's very simple and clean. And I feel that designs like this is very mm. good for the modern home. Mm. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. But that? because certain very yeah, because simple. certain yeah, I think because um actually our audience is also asking because certain vegetables are not so bendable, right? Like it's not so um, yeah. what you call it flexible as like the long yeah. bean. So it might break. But the or... long beans is really good because they are see mm. really, really very flexible. And you can turn yes. and twist them as you like. Um mm. and the color of the red ribbon actually give an accent to this piece. All right. Mm. You can just slot in into another bunch to cover up the head if you like to. Mm. So you see for this part, it's uh, very easy for people at home to work with whatever that they have. I think important is that uh, this, this series, though it's like a challenge for me, because mm -hmm. I have to get away from my norm, get away from whatever that I work with, 30 mm. years and tell myself, okay, now you don't have all this and this is it. You are going to work with just these long beans. Yeah, so I think it's uh, very good for me because it's really a big challenge and mm. I enjoy it. So do yes, you like yes. this piece, Natalie? Yeah, it looks really nice, Eunice. Looks so simple, yeah. looks so, so if, clean, if for right? People, yes, so if for people who has got no floral foam, don't worry. Just take the little plastic bag. Remember last week I shared. Just put water in and then just tie it with a rubber band. And there your water source will be there for your flowers. Okay, mm. so we have a close look on this one. Okay, go tilt aside. Tilt. Yeah. Okay, oh, the next so nice. one. Yeah. Okay, the next one I will share is this. Lotus wow, root. my favorite soup, eh, this one. <laughs> wow, this one, uh, everybody's favorite. Lo yes. Lotus root. And uh, yesterday when I was uh, doing some shopping for our vegetables today, I came across, they were just opening up the boxes. And I said, wow, this is so beautiful. I cannot not use this. So I bought mm. this piece and it happened to have the curve, as you can see, mm. the curve yes. here. And they are presenting themselves as mm. a very beautiful form. And mm. this is actually the head and the tail. Huh? So I chopped them and I lean them towards one another with a ah, little okay. toothpick in between. Okay, ah, so this piece okay. I call it leaning on one another. 
Do mm. not walk alone. Okay, so this is also <laughs> a message I want to pass to everyone during this time. So, mm. yeah, mm. lean on one another, your friend, your family. Yeah, so mm. we can all come out together. So this mm. is a piece that I will use a little structure. This is the Midolino structure. Um, well, you ask me, what is Midolino? Midolino is actually rattan. Ah, another okay. name for rattan. Yeah. So okay. do you know that Malaysia produce rattan? We produce mm. rattan for exports. And mm. these are beautiful uh, rattans uh, being bleached. And I make a simple structure, putting five strands together and tie them head and tail. And I use my finger to work mm. with this, like a heat. You know, and then they bend mm. with these very beautiful curvy lines here. So mm. because we have these lotus root that are quite static and they just stay there. So what I did mm. was I wanted a little bit more. All right. So no, first I will put in my flowers. Mm. Okay. Let me turn to this. Side. Then I will turn it back to you. And you can see that I actually did something here. These are eustoma flowers. And what I did was I put a little cotton because for mm. this wood, although they have holes like the bamboos, mm. but yeah. they do not hold water together. They ah, will come out okay. from the bottom. So what ah. I did was I used the corsage technique where I take them. Okay. I take the flowers uh, with cotton. Hmm. And okay, I have to see it this way so you can see. Now I have done the flowers and I will just work in this simple structure here. Okay, now I'm working with this because it's like looking into the mirror. Yeah. Okay. And I have this at the bottom. Do you know what is this black thing? Cannot see. Is it black rocks? beans? Oh, they are black beans. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So we can use everything, yeah, from your kitchen. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. yeah. Though, so you don't have to like necessary um to buy something that is like uh used professionally for the industry. You can mm -hmm. always think out of the box uh, mm -hmm. for for your finishing. So mm -hmm. this is something that I okay, come. My you, assistant will bring this to you. Okay. okay. Eunice, where can we get the rattan uh, that you actually uh, showed here? Okay. Um, actually, I'm Any selling recommendation? them. Ah, okay. I'm selling them because I use them a lot. So um, mm. what I do was uh, I have a lot of these store up. And also for my students, I often, ah, okay. when they want something, I'll just uh, sell it to them. So if you really mm. are interested with this, then you can also uh, PM or whatever. But they are not expensive. So mm -hmm. if you like to try this design, see? it's lotus root, mm. black beans, and mm. two blooms of flowers and a mini structure. Wow. So I nice. step back and I let you have a look at it. It's very beautiful. Yes. Uh, mm. A pink color that goes together with the lotus root and it becomes something very, very tastefully done. Yeah, yeah? it looks very so soothing to the eye. if your guests come to your house, they'll be shocked. How come there's no vase but it's a lotus <laughs> root? Yeah? Uh. <laughs> so this is something that we can kind of work with, think out of the box. And uh, you mm. will really enjoy exploring things that are from your home. Yeah. Mm, okay. We yes. can go to the next one. Okay, can. Wow, sure. Eunice, not, uh, not only lotus root can be used to make soup or can used to be fried, now, now can be used as a vase or so, uh, Eunice. Yes. And this is a sunflower design. Okay. Ah, I have okay. my assistant carry close to you. Hold on a minute. Mm. Okay. When I was working with the bandies and the ladies' fingers, Yes. Uh, what I did was, um, I had mine like many times when I do work with uh, vegetables, um, hmm. even on the a wall, like vegetables wall that are like three meter by three meter. 
uh, right. to Wicker Wall. Um, we mm. often work a lot with Bentley because they are really lasting. They ah, are really okay. lasting. And okay. for this is something very, very simple. You see at the back of this, this is actually a cover from a box. Mm. Okay? okay, so what I did was I put a ribbon around, just a decorative mm. ribbon. Uh, mm. Okay, you can see that, the shining part. Okay. Ah, okay. So yes. they are decorative, and so what I did was I put a little layer of plastic, and I fit my floral foam in. After ah, fitting okay. the floral foam in, okay, the next step, your lady's finger, hmm. toothpick again. All right. Ah, toothpick. okay. Toothpick is really really wonderful. Okay, so we put the toothpick right at the head of the. Can you see this? Yes. Yes. Right. Just so at the head of the I lady. Is, yeah. So you can just insert them in a radial form. Mm. So all the way radiating out. And yes. after I have uh -huh. arranged it, you will realize that, hey, we have spaces in between the lady's fingers. So what mm. I did was I take the wrapping paper I'm sure a lot of people received Valentine's Day flower yesterday. If not, you will have a lot mm. of gifts from your friends for Chinese New Year. So look into the box and all your wrappings. You can find mm. paper like this. Soft paper. Ah. So what mm. I did was I fold the paper into a square like this. And then I show you, yeah, like this. One, um. two. Fold okay. into a square and then mm. I cut. So after mm. I cut in oval shape, I don't, uh, I don't break it in the center. You get like something mm. like a flower shape. And ah, toothpick again. Okay. And toothpick again. <laughs> so I think these are things that everybody will have at home, right? So mm. I use this toothpick, and and this this toothpick happened to have a little gap in the end, you know. So when I push, oh. it will stop here. It will ah, stop okay. here, and then I will just push it in. So ah, let me show okay. you from this angle, mm. so you can see. It's ah, like a okay. beautiful flower, big yes. flower blooming on your table. And I feel yes. that this design really can help people um, to do their design, even for the kid's birthday. Ah, okay. Yes. Yes. The kid's birthday, mm -hmm. if you want to make vegetable interesting to your children, because usually they don't like to eat them, isn't it? <laughs> yes. So, you know, <laughs> yeah, you can, you can also do together with them and... Uh, you know, to create something out of the box mm. and show yes. them. Now, look, mm -hmm. we can even use these vegetables for for arrangements, for decoration mm. on the table. So this yes, is really correct. interesting. And on mm. top of that, mm. I took a mineral water bottle, the one little one, and uh -huh. I start cutting from the end, like spiral cut. To the end, ah, and I get okay. these plastic that I spray them into gold. Okay. Ah, okay. Ah, Using the paint, can, the spray paint. Yes. Like this. Yeah, hmm. spray paint. Like from last week, I spoke about it. And yes. what I do was, of course, when you do the spray paint, please go to hmm. your garden or your open space. Hmm. Yeah. So when you hmm. do that, you don't harm yourself because hmm. they are all chemicals. Yeah. But mm. we also want to play safe, even when mm. we love with our, uh, to do our art pieces. Yes. So now you mm. see, it's been wow. dressed up. Yeah, it's been dressed up for the event. Mm. So you can yes. actually think out of the box of like, um, what are the things that we can curate out of the norm mm. and yep. things that we throw away. Mm, yeah, definitely. So I it's, hope yes. that uh, the audience can uh, also try, and even if you have any idea at all, you can just post it to us, and so 
we can share the ideas and everybody can have exciting decorations yes. at home, isn't it? Correct, correct. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So this yeah. is my fourth piece. Yes. All right. Before we before we move into the fifth piece, uh, I would like to share with our audience now. If um any of you uh, remember earlier on, we mentioned that there will be a giveaway, right? So um yeah, before we move in, uh, we will actually uh, I like to share that um how you can win this um gifts from Eunice is um all you have to do is very simple. Like last week, uh, just comment below at our comment section, uh, which of the which of the arrangements that you've seen today that you like and you want to win it and why okay and um, comment below uh, and tell us and we will actually notify the winners uh, within 24 hours via fb messenger on when where to collect the prize uh, just a gentle reminder that this is only limited to those living in the Klang valley because of, of logistics purposes okay so comment below right you need okay you may proceed to the fifth design now okay so my fifth design is about this straw and I take the paper straw ah, and okay. I use the food dye. Ah, red color, dye. right? Yeah, hmm. red color where we always uh, like for the Chinese means we always make the red egg with this, isn't it? Mm, yes, correct. Okay, so I pour them into a plastic bag and I wrap them like this. Ah, I purposely okay. uh, don't do all of them like certain parts ah. of the straw are left not painted so I just mm. do like this in a plastic bag so that I don't get okay. red hand yesterday I had a <laughs> bit of a red hand today my hand is clean <laughs> so you see these are ideas that I I walk past I walked past by when I was buying the vegetables. I walked past uh -huh. the section where they were selling all the cake things. And then I thought to myself, hey, I can do this with the vegetables that I'm working with. Mm. All right. So you see, there we have the mini carrots and then the baby tomatoes. Mm. Okay. And a structure made out of the paper straw. Straw, painted yes. with the food dye and what mm. I do is I haven't complete this one so that I can mm. show you all right mm. how I glue this together by a hot mm. glue gun it's, it's very uh, economical to get a glue gun so mm. if you are somebody who are very crafty you may mm. want to buy one and you know keep it at yes. home as and when you need to glue something, you can use them. Mm -hmm. So this is, and randomly, I glue them. Okay, so and we are going to put the this piece. Ah, uh, the main mm. thing is the French beans, the carrot, okay, and the tomatoes are actually there to show the colors. All right. Ah, but, okay. The, the key thing is the French beans. So when you work with the hot glue, yeah, you sometimes get mm. all the webs, the spider mm. webs, <laughs> the glue webs. <laughs> okay, so we want to clear them so that our piece looks clean, yeah? Mm. What is the... I, yeah, sorry, Eunice. What is the sorry. thing separating uh, the compartments? Uh, I see that actually there are like compartments, right? There's like three. Oh, okay. Ah, there are actually all three right, vases. Right. Yeah, ah, there are okay, actually okay. three vases. And these mm, three vases, mm. I join them together. I can put them this way or I can put them apart. I actually ah, choose to put okay. them apart. But just now I was transporting them up, uh, so ah, I have to okay. hold them together. So let's put uh, a little bit apart, like one mm. cm apart. Yeah. Mm. So we can complete this piece by gluing these together. And mm. I would say that this concept is mm. uh, a very modern concept uh, for decorations, and mm. uh, because it plays only with static lines, and you need like modern homes. Mm. Okay, like what we have all in uh, in around us. Okay, mm. to very clean background and very mm. um, not not too colorful. 
a background. Mm. So mm. when we do that, mm. you will see that all these uh, characteristic of line will mm. really showcase themselves. To mm. this. Yes. So you see, mm. when when I work with the structure, right? Seriously, mm. I do not plan. I just like play with them. It's just random, ah. Uh. <laughs> Just very random, and I mm. created uh, an order in the disorder line, mm. and you can see that they mm. are crisscrossing one another. Mm. Yeah. So yep. for yep. this one, I will add in the tomatoes, and then the only disadvantages that we are working with um, this uh, food coloring is mm. that make sure you do not wet them. Ah, the okay. minute your material comes in with moist or sometimes uh, with a little bit of water, mm. then we might have a trouble. Mm. <laughs> the color okay. will, will come off. Okay. So again, if we like to uh, have this design made with a more prominent um, material, it will be the disposable chopstick. Mm, okay, okay. That's yeah, a substitute. So we can, mm. Yeah, that's a substitute. Mm. If you don't mm. work with the straw, you can also work with the dis disposable chopstick and you can mm. use the spray paint. If you mm. use the spray paint, your structure will last very long. Okay? Mm. Uh, okay. This, this one, for the festive, mm. once off like 15 days, fine mm. but if you like the piece so much that you want to keep them okay mm. for a certain reason or a certain decorations for indoor mm. for your living room then you mm. may do something that is not uh is, is not so easily uh diminished lah, in a sense mm. that you can keep them for a long time yeah after taking mm. so much effort okay mm. okay Oh, can see so all the I texture the coming up. Uh, yep, you can see that, mm. you know, the excitement of these green French beans mm. against the red. Mm. Yeah, and so, okay. So I would say for this display, you mm. have to tell a guest. It's not to be eaten. Okay, because sometimes when you put food on the table, after a few drinks, uh, your guests start to like, wow, then a uh, big problem. Okay, so sound your guests, yes, yes. but it's not mm -hmm. eaten. And I feel that sometimes uh, when food is concerned, mm -hmm. um, the hygienic part has to be taken care of seriously. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yes, okay, correct. it's yep. done. Yep. Let me wow. uh, bring it closer. I think two person have to hold this because it's quite heavy. Wow. Okay, so you can see mm. that. Just a ribbon, ribbon to bend at the end. And then you mm. have the cherry tomatoes and the carrot. The and I purposely pick, pick those cherry tomatoes that are more towards orangey color so that it blends in together uh, with the structure and also okay. the french beans mm, yeah okay so i hope you like yeah. it yes very okay, very nice you great. okay next okay so we'll go to the next one yes all right also using the straw ah the straws okay yes and you mm. can see that i make them like in a basket but a very mm. modern one yeah, a very modern basket, and mm. as you can see, this is made of paper. So when we ah, come, okay. uh, we come into designing with materials like this, you have to know the strength, and they are not, uh, they are not made to hold very heavy materials or ah, vegetables okay. or fruit. So what we're going to do uh, and work with is that because we are still in the Chinese New Year. Um, celebration mm. okay so what I'm going to do is I put a food here alright mm. oops flew away okay one minute <laughs> let's have the hot glue let's have the hot glue and we'll glue that later okay mm. we'll come to this 
interesting chili party wow. that many people cannot live without, right? Yes, yes. Okay, I think we'll Malaysians are. Uh, yeah. Uh, Everything okay, has so to have chili. I did was, uh, yeah, about 10 or 12 of them, you bind mm. them together. Okay. Uh, use a cellophane tape on a satay stick. Okay. All right. And uh, after that, what we do is we will cut this. Mm. All right. Cut this and mm. use the straw and insert them. Ah, so you okay. See, you have yeah. something that is uh, very coordinated in the overall. Yeah, yeah. So we have the red chili here, and mm -hmm. we can. What we can do is we can actually glue, glue the straw, okay, mm. into the structure because they are part of the structure, the same yeah. material. Yeah. Okay, and for this, I will put here. This is the food. Right. Ah, okay. So you have a very modern basket, mm. and what is going to happen is that you might ask me, why do you use red? Everything is red. Yeah, of course it's red because it's Chinese New Year. <laughs> but and I haven't, I haven't finished yet. That's something else. Ah, okay, 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 okay. Are okay. you excited? Take yes. a guess Tell us what I will put. What what vegetables I will put there? Okay, so probably about two or three, just to mm. have a. Uh, a highlight of the mm. the chili party mm. into the structure and I can glue them this way. See? Uh, Just hold okay. them. And yep. they will stay stand still and mm. and uh, they will be in position mm. to showcase themselves. And the yep. next thing I will put is actually the little pak choy. Oh, the so cute. One. Yeah, so cute, isn't it? So, oh, so cute. I thought when I thought about the design, mm. um, then I thought about it like, what are the vegetables that are very light and they mm. are very, I mean, kind of sturdy and hardy to be used for the design. Yes. See? So mm. cute, isn't it? Yeah. So yeah, what so I'm cute. going to do? Yeah, I'm going to just place them here because there are certain parts of the basket here that I did. Um, they mm. are totally uh, very compact with a lot of the straws. So, ah, okay. So they can yeah. hold the vegetables. So I will together. show you later mm. in a while mm. when I complete mm. this. So mm -hmm. we can just like squeeze it in, but don't destroy the the vegetables because they are so cute and so beautiful. Green in color mm. and white also at the stems. And yep. for that, really, it gives a lot of uh, visual impact. Mm. And one with the yellow flower. See how cute that? <laughs> There's one with the yellow flower there. Mm. Yeah, and I think for this, I will put one more of the chili, uh, of this yeah. chili party mm. group. And I push it in into one of these part. Okay, hold on a mm. minute. Huh? I have to do one over this side. Okay. Um, okay. So you may want to ask me, like, where where should I put? How should I know I should put here or put there? Right? Yeah. So sometimes yeah. um okay. So you can know by putting across the material. Sometimes you want to go across. Mm. You know the opposite direction yep. of the one that mm. you put, or you okay. may want to put um, directly across and in a group. So I'm going to uh, make one okay. across and in a group because I just realized uh, that the position of my design needs to be a little bit heavier this side. Okay, so mm. I'm done now. So I'd like to show. Okay, oh, that's, that's two person. Your hold, and I will. Okay, go close, go close, and flip. flip. Uh, so you see, you can see yes. that they are green and little bit of yellow and red with the chili, yes. everything. Wow. And after that, the party is over. Tomorrow can cook something. <laughs> Yes, most important okay. thing. <laughs>
So I think um, with these few ideas that I shared and also mm. the display, right? If you would like to have your table is very big, this is mm. an idea that I would like to share with you using the uh. Uh, long cabbage, the long Chinese yes. cabbage like this mm. and to make into a big bloom you actually yep. fold fold the petals fold the leaves mm. not mm. Those, the leaves okay inwards all the way inwards keep on folding yep. inwards like each mm. single piece you fold yes. inwards each single ah, piece okay. you fold inwards fold until inwards. you open the whole flower yep. the whole flower sorry i'm so like <laughs> okay until you open to the last leaf, last then you leaf, get yeah. a flower like this. Mm. Yeah. And you can just put them in a little vase yeah. and the display goes together with this and then uh. and it depends on how you want to decorate it. If your table is very big, you can always yeah. work out something else. Yeah. So mm. that's another idea for you. So mm. I hope that uh, yeah. We get the, yes. the audience will get the new tips for their decoration yes. at home. Yes. If you are doing any ideas, remember to take photos and share with us, okay? To our audience. And you need okay. yeah, yes. for the structure, right? It has to be pretty stable, right? Because if not, then um it might actually like collapse, correct? See, they are standing yep. really, really steady. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They yeah, so really they have to steady. make sure. Yeah, so I think uh, a tip would so, be have to make sure that the base is very stable. Is that correct? Okay, it's it's pretty easy. You start with yeah. one, two, three, okay, yeah. and then you go on and on. So when yeah. you have a uh, quite a big piece, you flip it mm -hmm. over and you make mm -hmm. the leg. Mm -hmm. This is how okay. I make it. Yeah. Ah, so okay, it's okay. quite easy just by using the straw and stick them together. As you see, uh, you, you bear in mind, but if you are a person that cannot visualize, like what mm. I did earlier, you can use mm. a plate, all right? Any plate mm. at home, okay? You can put your straw on top of the plate one by mm. one. I mean, you glue one by one until mm. you complete the size of the plate in an mm. irregular form. Just okay. anyhow you like. Don't don't yeah. have to be so uh, strictly uh, how many cm away or what. No, <laughs> just happy. Okay. Put your Chinese New Year song, <laughs> happy singing, and do okay. Uh, right. Okay. Then after that, you flip the whole thing over the whole piece, mm. and yep. you start to make a leg. Yep. So you make okay. the leg. If you make two on each side, it will definitely be very firm. And you think mm. that, okay, this way is not firm enough. Put another two, and you put uh, another two, okay. and you become eight. Then the Understand. eight legs are wow, very firm. <laughs> cannot go anywhere. Okay. okay. <laughs> but okay. remember one thing. Cannot be wet, number one. Yes. Number two, wet. Yes. no heavy material on top. Yes. Everything needs right. to be very light. Like, yeah, so okay. don't try and put your mandarin, try and put your <laughs> your grapes or your your persimmon there, habis. That one <laughs> finish. <laughs> don't worry, okay. Yeah. Okay. So uh design with a plan. Okay. Mm. Um, this is what I call it design with a plan mm. and uh what we want to do and what are the materials that we are working with. These are really important for the designs to work out, yeah? Okay. So I hope that uh, the audience are happy today with my presentation. Very nice, Eunice. Thank you so much for showing uh, you, all Nathalie. of the designs. So remember, if you would like to win any of these designs, remember to comment below at the comment section and we will, um, and remember to check back uh, on your Facebook Messenger uh, because we will be contacting you if you are the winner, okay? Right, so yes. Eunice, uh, yeah, next week, same time, we're gonna be yes. um, doing something different again. Okay, so with the fruits, 
Wow. Okay, another food item. That means everybody still got one at home. Okay. So um, next week, remember Tuesday, uh, tune in at 8 p.m. And if you have missed today's session, uh, don't worry because we will be uh, replaying our video on our Facebook. Uh, so you can always catch uh, the video after this and also on our YouTube channel, HProp Malaysia. And also an article about today's session will be up in this Friday's eWeekly. Okay, Eunice, thank you so much yeah. for your really beautiful presentation. And yes, yeah. we will. Before, yes, uh, mm. yes, Eunice. Yes, Before please. I go off, I, yeah. I will want to dedicate this piece to my friend who is celebrating ah. birthday. Yeah, ah. and you can do all this for your friend's birthday too. Wow. You know, you don't have to call the florist, but please don't do that. I will cry. <laughs> <laughs> we need a second. <laughs> Yes. Okay, so yes. happy birthday, Liz. Yeah, all happy the best to you. Happy yeah. birthday, Liz. Okay. Thank you, everybody, for supporting and thank you for watching me, uh, sharing the session with you. Hope all to right. see you okay. again next week. Yeah. See you next week, Eunice. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Good night. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye, everybody. Bye. -bye.